super ready for a new step-by-step episode. Lace your shoes, go out, or go out, lace your shoes. (laughs) Yes, let's go! Hello, it's me, Anna Maria. Welcome to this new step-by-step episode. Today's topic, making every walk count. Three years ago, I experienced a bad fall while jogging. I strained one of my left leg's muscle. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I was really close to faint, but fortunately, my mind remained clear despite the intense pain. The doctor designated my injury as a grade 3. A grade 3 strain is a severe muscle tear. In fact, I had to stop my daily walking for more than one year while I was engaged in recovery exercises. From that experience, I have read and learned a lot about how to walk or run with more awareness. I've told you that story to say that whether we are walking slow or fast, for long or for short distances, we need to treat it as a form of exercise and be focused on our every single step. However, a casual stroll around our living room (laughs) and if we are more adventurous around the neighborhood, cannot be called a workout. Here's a very fine kind of idea. We don't have to do the same work every time, every day. If we vary our speed and intensity, we can get more fitness benefits and our work will be more enjoyable. Lifestyle walking is a basic walking, simple and effective way to exercise. The biggest advantage with it is anyone can do it! Yes, there are some exceptions, but most of us can start walking almost immediately and choose our own level of comfort with walking. Remember to warm up. For the first five minutes, walk slowly at strolling pace and then pick up the pace gradually. Your eyes need to be looking forward, not down at the ground. Keep your arms loose. Squeeze your hips as you walk. Yes, make sure your legs from the hips down are engaged in walking. That's powerful. Beginners can start walking 20 minutes per day. As you advance, aim to walk for an hour every day. It's up to you. Before you come to a complete stop, Remember to walk slowly for about 10 minutes to allow your heart and body to cool down. Set your own pace. (music) 
You know, every one of us works differently and can get different results from our walking lifestyle, right? However, there are some popular types of walking that we can try. More and more people are opting, for example, for power walking as an option to jogging. It is believed that it burns as much calories as jogging while doing less damage to feet and knees. Nordic walking, on the other hand, helps us include our upper body in our walking lifestyle. As you probably know, this form of walking involves a pair of specially designed poles. The basic action includes using our arms to push down with the poles as we walk. In that way, different parts of the body like shoulders, abdomen, spine, chest, triceps, and so on, are involved. Walking is more than just a way to get around. Make sure you enjoy every one of the works you take and try to notice things on the way. Children play in the park, the sky, the trees, the birds, the flowers, and smile. Thank you for listening. Let you free to share your walking experience, comments, messages. Get out. And remember to make your body and mind feeling better. See you next time with a new step-by-step episode. Bye-bye!